Hey there, oh really? It's uh, me. It's me, Luke and Bebop. Uh, yes, um, I, I'm actually, yes, I'm actually doing yours. Uh, hopefully by now the other one's rendering up, up and on YouTube right then. Um, actually reviewing yours while I'm waiting for this to load and render and everything. Um, this is your Ninja Gaiden and Beat Nuts Lyrical Assassins. Uh, makes, uh, uh, it's, like I was saying with, uh, I, think I, I can't remember who I said this with, it was, it was either Piano Skip Fiasco, uh, t -Zord. it was one of the guys, uh, I think it was Piano Skip Fiasco, no, Mixer Productions, that was who it was. Well, like I said with Mixer Productions, it's kind of hard to go wrong with Ninja Gaiden music. Or uh, another one, uh, what was it, the, with the Shuriken. It's hard to go wrong with some of that music. Uh, your lyrics in this uh, one, your lyrics in this one, as I remember when I listened to it the second or third time, um, I did appreciate the fact you didn't overuse the echo a little bit. Uh, it's very, very well. It's well balanced on both both uh, sides, so you did really good at post. I did like that. So, and uh, your art, your art is pretty awesome. I like some of the pictures that you pulled. The uh, song as Gestalt is very much worth it. You may need to work on a little bit of pacing a little. Pacing a little bit, it's not a bad thing. Maybe it's just uh, it's a, and I say working on pacing a little bit just to kind of feel a song out because uh, this is kind of one of those the one that you pick from Ninja Gaiden is one of those songs that uh, it's a it, it can be done really really fast, but at the same time, if you kind of take your time with it, it can be done as this cool kind of lyrical piece along with it because it has both in it. Um, your your use of everything is really it can uh, be really built upon if you, if that makes any sense. It's kind of hard to explain it in in word, but uh, uh, I'll pull this guy real quick. Um, but uh, the uh, your everything is very well balanced. Uh, that's one thing I do appreciate. Thank you. Is the, you know the lyrics don't overpower the music too much, but the music doesn't overpower you know lyrics. It's a, it's something that uh, you know it's hard to find nowadays, especially in something with rap or hip hop music. Um, but definitely think about some other art. Think of uh, art styles too. Um, think of music as art, not just you know lyrics on top of music, because um, it can be very very artful the way you lay down lyrics. Uh, you know the way you did, way you did it here was uh, blended very well with the music. So there's not nothing negative here um, I mean and it's clean which is another another kind of cool thing that that I, I did enjoy about this piece um, the only uh, like I said the only negative I can think about this piece was that you just use the same loop over and over maybe think about you know playing a little bit with pitch uh, I sh I, not pitch, meaning scales, you know, kind of moving up and down a little bit because it get, does get kind of repetitive. I understand it's only two and a half minutes long, but you know, even then, you can kind of play with it a little bit. Uh, uh, good guy, uh, I mentioned him before, good guy to get in contact to is Mixer Production. Guy is constantly busy. Uh, he and Maxi Demand, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can link you a couple of their videos because check out what they kind of do with some of their stuff. You know, it can be repetitive, but at the same time, they do change up pitch tempos, things like that. And that's something to kind of think about. In a two and a half minute piece, it's a little tough. You know, it's something you just want to get through and go. I mean, you do a real good job It's you know, so, uh, with the, the kind of verse chorus, verse chorus. I mean, because, you know, I, I like the structure you, you do. Uh, my friend uh, Yui as well, uh, his rap name is Yui. Uh, Yui, I believe, 06 is his YouTube name. Um, he's another guy I want you to check out too because He's a he's a he rap, he's a gamer as well. He raps about gaming all the time, and he does really clean. You and he, I think you and he have kind of a really good style together because I like that style. But man, uh, keep this coming. I really do kind of like the mix that you did with it. Um, and whoever your producer is, you know, shake his hand for me because I definitely feel. And if it's you, more power to you, bro. Um, he, uh, I want you to do have a little bit more fun with retro game stuff because there's so much stuff you can do with it. It is um it is nearly limitless. Um, just remember that you know music is not only just it's not about the lyrics and the rap and you know being you know, really epic. It's also an art form. So you know express you know I hate to sound cliche but express yourself. You know express it. You know it could be do feeling. Uh, 
check out you know classical anything from like you know classical jazz to rap to um, you know retro game music is always a real good fun rock you know every you hit all genres you you'll find something that you like I think you'll find something that you like and you know yourself as a musician you'll even grow and you know in the last few months I've grown out of it kind of I've taken a new appreciation for it and I think and I do appreciate what you did I really did like this so keep I mean link me to another one man I can't wait to see another one from you peace